What's up guys, my name is George, and today, I know I'm a day late, but I'm going to show you guys how to get the lightning bow in the Horizon Dragon. This bow is definitely the best bow in the game, possibly one of the best wonder weapons in the game, besides like the Thunder Gun and the Apothecary Servant. This thing is absolute beauty. I mean, just look at annihilate all the zombies in front of me. I don't care about the wolf bow anymore, this thing is that much better. So anyway, let's get into it. But first, before you get the upgraded lightning bow, you need to learn how to get an unupgraded bow. So you're going to go around the map and you're going to find three dragon heads. And as you see here, this is one of them down in the anti-gravity room. It's going to take exactly eight kills in front of this dragon, seven eaten zombies, and one kill to get it lit up in order for it to actually die out. Once you know that you've finished it up, you're going to see the dragon breathe fire like this with smoke around him. And then he's going to disintegrate into a bunch of rocks. And then you can go on to the next dragon. The second one is in this church right above the anti-gravity room. You're going to see a giant globe in this room. And you're going to see this right above the fireplace. Go ahead, kill a zombie right in front of this dragon so it can get lit up. Then you're going to kill seven zombies one by one, taking a little time in between in order for the dragon to actually eat them. And then you'll know when you're done, when the dragon breathes out fire, once again, has a bunch of smoke around him, and then disintegrates into a bunch of rocks. And that's how you know that you're going to go onto the third dragon. So this is the third and final dragon head right here in this courtyard. You don't have to do them in any particular order whatsoever. If you actually watch my first two videos on both tutorials, you know I did a different order every single time. So just do it however you want. Just make sure you take your time, kill zombies one at a time, wait for the dragon to finish eating a zombie before you make your next kill. And once again, you'll know when you're done, when the dragon eats that last zombie, and it starts to breathe fire, it has a whole bunch of smoke around it, and then disintegrates into a bunch of rock. That's how you know you're done with that dragon. If you finish all three dragons, you can pick up your unupgraded bow. Go ahead up these stairs, and right behind this knight's tomb, you're going to see the unupgraded bow. It's a pretty good weapon in and of itself, but you're going to want to upgrade it, of course. And in order to start the upgrade process, you need to get the broken arrow parts. So now you have to go up these stairs in the courtyard and look at this weather vane and shoot at it. It's going to spin around a lot and out is going to pop your broken arrow pieces. Go ahead, interact with those to pick them up. And now you're going to have to shoot bonfires around the map. The first one is very easy to see and shoot right by the weather vane that you just shot. You're going to look over this little ledge on the right, and you're going to see this bonfire. Go ahead and shoot that with your bow and arrow, and it should light on fire. Second one, right around the corner too. Go ahead, this one's much further away, so aim much higher, and shoot it, and that should light on fire as well. And the third one, technically you're supposed to teleport down into the rocket launch, but I'm going to show you a neat little trick. So if you actually go into this little room over here, and right where the mountains make a V, that little point that I'm pointing at, right now you're going to zoom in and aim your left crosshair right at the edge of that and then you're going to take a single fire shot and that is going to land on the actual bonfire that you cannot see and you'll know when you see that huge gust of fire just burst up from the floor and now you can go on to the next step of upgrading your lightning bow in order to do this next step you do need anti-gravity turned on so go into this little area with the pyramid you're going to see four squares around the pyramid. Go ahead, stand on one of those squares long enough until it turns into a blue light underneath you. Go ahead and do that with all four of the squares around the pyramid. And eventually, you'll notice that the room has like a light blue hint to it. And that means low gravity is on. You can go ahead, double jump around, run on the walls. It's basically like you're on the moon. Uh, you can even get a shield part from this. But anyway... You will see these five panels around the area on the walls up top. And your objective is to wall run on all five of those. So I'm going to show you the path that I always take. I go ahead, start over here by the door, a wall run. I hit that one and you'll hear a noise indication. Then you're going to go ahead, keep wall running. And you're going to hit this one over here. Then you have to go around this corner. There's one tucked away in this corner over here. That's three. One right around this corner too. That will be four. And the fifth one is right here, also by the door. And you're going to hear this indication that you got it right. And you're going to see the little bar in the top left corner light up as well. 
And now you can go on to filling up souls. Now you have to go around the map and find these urns that are sparking with lightning. These are now soul chests and they take very little souls in order to fill up, about five or six of them. So go ahead, camp in this room, and every kill you get in this room, you'll see a blue mist go ahead and fly right toward that urn. And when you're done filling it up with souls, you can actually go up to the urn itself, hold down the fire button to charge up your shot, and you'll see that the tip of your arrow has lightning bolts on it. Now with this, you actually have to reshoot the bonfires that you shot before. So go ahead, charge up your shot with the little electricity at the end, and reshoot those bonfires. You'll know if you did it successfully, if you go take another look at the bonfires, and now they have lightning spinning around them in that little vortex. So that's one of the three locations. The second urn is actually in the same area as where I showed you that little trick to hit the third bonfire without going down the rocket launch. Go ahead, camp out in here for a little bit, and you're going to get about five or six kills in here. Fill up that urn with souls, and you know when you successfully did it, when you go ahead to the urn and charge up your shot. I'm going to show you the little trick that I do in order to do this. You don't have to do the same one. But I actually charge up the shot, and as I'm charging it, I hold square here and actually jump over to the same area as I shot it in the first place. I'm going to go ahead, line up my shot about where I think it'll hit it. I'll know when it's done, when I get that electricity around it. Now, it's not a very cost-effective way to do it. Trust me, there's many other strategies to prevent you spending that 500 points, but that's the strategy I'm used to. For the third one, you do have to teleport. I did save you 500 points by not teleporting the first time. This time, you absolutely have to because in this little corner over here, you'll see the third urn. You're going to have to fill this up with souls as well. So go ahead, get about five or six kills in this little corner too. Uh, fill up that urn with souls. Make sure you got it by charging up your arrow tip. See if you can get that electricity bolt at the end. And whenever you can, go ahead, charge up your arrow. Walk over to this little barrier over here look up and you'll see the bonfire, look up a little bit more than you think you would and shoot and you should see the lightning circle around that bonfire and that you get to the final step of getting your reforged arrow. To get the reforged arrow, it's very simple. Walk back to the weather vane that you shot to start this whole quest. You'll see now it's on fire and it has a blue smoke around it. You'll see a blue cloud down here. Interact with that blue cloud and you'll see three arrow parts go back up into that weather vane and when it's all said and done it's going to drop back down your reforged arrow and now you can actually go ahead and charge this up with souls and be able to get your upgraded lightning bow so go back down into the anti-gravity room that i showed before and right here on the right side you'll see this little lightning bolt on this chest you're going to interact with that and that's going to be now a soul box to charge up your reforged arrow Get about 25 kills in this little area. It's a lot more than you actually expect. And when it's all said and done, you'll see now that your arrow is charged. It is glowing. And go ahead and interact with that arrow. You're actually going to put your bow that you had before, the unupgraded one, into the chest. Wait about like three or five seconds. And out is going to pop your upgraded lightning bow. This thing is such a beauty to look at, man. Practicality wise is absolutely the best bow out of all four of them. This thing is insane. If you take a single charge shot, it acts as a ball of lightning. If any zombie is getting near it, it will actually be electrocuted. It's not like the other three bows where you take a single charge shot and it's just extra splash damage like your previous bow. But the charge shot is where all the power is. Look at what it's doing to this horde. Absolutely obliterating it. It acts like this huge storm that just takes out everything in its way. It is insane. If you're ever in a corner, you use this. If you're ever fighting a panzer, you use this. In any situation whatsoever, you use the charge shot of the lightning bow. Oh my god, it is a beauty. Have I sold you on how good this lightning bow is? Good, because I want this to stick in the back of your brain forever. The lightning bow is the best bow and of all four of them. It is insane. It went from the worst staff in Origins to the best bow in the Rising Draft. And I just love the glow up. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. I really hope you found this guide useful. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and follow my Twitter for more notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.